Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time we have a canvas up. <laughs> I can see myself on the camera. Whenever I can see myself on camera, I just start messing around. So, um... <laughs> right. Let's get serious. Yes. Serious. Serious stuff is painting. We don't want to mess around. We want to be having lots of fun! <laughs> right. Be serious from now on. From now on, this is a serious channel. Serious painting is about to happen from the greatest painter. The greatest painter that's ever lived! Called Jason Bowen that lives in this house. <laughs> Right, let's go, let's go. Come on, serious. We're on camera, let's not mess around, let's just paint. So we've got a... Uh... <laughs> oh no, I'm in one of those funny moods. Right, so we've got this piece of paper that I printed out out of the sky and uh... <laughs> I'm just cracking up for no reason. So let's just try and paint, otherwise I'm just going to crack up and I'm, I'm not going to have to do this. <laughs> it happens uh, sometimes. You just start cracking up over nothing. I don't know what it is. So we've got some uh, blue that I've made a mixture of ultramarine blue and cerulean blue to make my sky. I'm doing well now. And some titanium white to make my sky mixture. I think it's the idea of watching myself talking and maybe I should turn it around or put something in front of it. It just makes me laugh because I think <laughs> it looks silly. Right, here we go. Titanium white. Oh, I haven't put enough uh, burnt umber on. That's not going to be enough. Some cadmium red, chrome yellow, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, viridian green and this sky mixture which is Ultramarine blue and cerulean blue and titanium white. Whew. Okay, next part. So here's my reference picture. I took this over the field and uh, I actually, what I wanted to do was catch the train and uh, I wanted the train, the steam train that was coming through but I missed it. So I have to make it up. But we've got a good cloud there. I like that sky. I'm going to paint differently today. Because sometimes, you know, I have this need to just blob paint on. And then sometimes I uh, want to be a bit more how can I explain? Reserved. A bit more reserved at the moment. <laughs> My funny mood. So what I'm trying to do now, um, I want to create a gradual lightness in this colour. So if I scrub in some lighter colour there, and then I can gradually make it darker as it goes up. Blue, ultramarine blue, I like ultramarine blue, I really do like ultramarine blue. Do you know, ultramarine blue, the previous one, the Lapu Lazuli, I think it's called, is the most expensive paint you can buy. And they, uh, they savoured that blue. used it very sparingly because it was so expensive. The pigment in it is actually worth its weight in gold. I think it's worth more than gold now. So I had a look, I thought about making some, <laughs> make some lapis lazuli. But it would be very expensive to do. So I'll have to wait till I've got more subs to do that. Because 
because I definitely can't afford it. And someone asked me how much do you make on YouTube? <laughs> Let's just say I don't make enough money to pay for the paint because the the um, the paints and the canvases, well, you know, probably know, it's expensive stuff, isn't it? It's not cheap. It's not. You, you really have to be uh, like getting millions of views all the time to make a decent amount on YouTube. But this is more. I love painting and I like sharing. I don't think I'm the greatest painter in the world. Not really. Um, just in case someone's going to send me hate mail. <laughs> I'm getting, um, I'm sick of hate mail actually. Get bored of it after a while. So if anyone starts slagging me off, I start slagging him off back. <laughs> I know, it's probably not the way to be. Probably should just ignore it and just take it, but I don't anymore. You're gonna, you're gonna have a go. You're gonna get some. <laughs> no, I kind of understand why people get annoyed, because a lot of it, a lot of the hate that artists tend to get, it is really because somebody is jealous that they're not doing, they're not painting or they're not doing what they wished they could do or I don't know what it is really. I know jealousy is a dangerous thing and uh, you don't even know you're jealous. Because jealousy, what is jealousy really? What is it? It's a feeling of wanting what they have. That's all it is. You want what they have. That's jealousy. Some people think jealousy isn't that and it's something else. But that is what it is. La -di -di, la -di -da, we're painting. We're enjoying ourselves. We're sitting back having a look at our masterpiece. Oh, wow, this is a brilliant. I am so good, I should be French. <laughs> it's funny how a lot of my favourite painters are French. Like Monet, Cezanne, Degas. They're all French. Pizarro. I don't know what you're thinking. You've gone into your impressionist cycle again. <laughs> mm, my sky's not um, big enough. My cloud's not big enough. I've put that blue splodge in a place. I don't want it. Damn. Let's move it down a bit. Oh, what is Let's do the big, 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 big cloud. Boom, there's where the blue sky is. That's where the blue is. A bit more white. A bit more of the white. Yeah. There's the light sky down there. We might break that up. I might put another bit in. It's only got that bit. I don't really like just that bit. It's my painting. I can do whatever I like. So I'll put one there as well. <laughs> Makes a big difference. That's it's going from uh, just a regular painting to an amazing painting. Oh, paint on the hand. Oh dear. Paper towels. Right. I need some more burnt umber on the palette. I got myself some paper towels. So we're okay again. So what I use the paper towels for, we can use an old rag until it's uh, totally caked up with paint. Do that as well. 
um, paper, just wipe the brush. You're probably better off using rags, save the environment and all that. <laughs> I do rags, but I also use paper, but I don't throw it away after every use, I just keep using it until there's so much paint on it, I have paint all over my hands. So, sky, so I'm going to warm the sky up, brown, the sky colour, brown in that. So look at that, brown and blue. Brown, blue, and we want white as well. Well, it looks quite green, doesn't it? It's because of that dreaded cerulean blue. Let's warm that up a bit with a bit of cad red. That's better. It takes away that horrible green that was more white. I'm not sure if that, I think that's a bit too dark to be honest. That's probably more right. I just think a bit more red. Warm it up a bit, that's better. Let's see what that's like, we'll put it on. If it don't work, it don't work. But if it works, too dark. That's not bad, that is not bad. But I'm gonna switch it up now and then anyway. If, if you don't like your colour, you don't like the colour on the uh, canvas, all you need to do is mix a bit of whatever you want, like red or white or blue, in on your brush and then mix it on the canvas. You don't have to keep mixing your colour and going, oh, oh, I need to mix some more colour. This is a lot quicker, mixing as you go. There's a lot of methods out there to learn how to paint and, uh, and they're all very valid and very good. Um, but you can cheat. <laughs> the better, not the better, the more experience, the more time you've spent painting. Just show you this, just throwing in a bit of yellow and red. To warm my colour up a bit. That's another thing to think about. Warm. Look at my headlight at the top. Warm and cold. Warm and cold colours. I like to think in terms of warm colours, cold colours, light colours, dark colours. Warm, warm and cool is it is a really important thing. Is that warm and cool? It really is. Going a bit lighter. There's more paint on here than I originally was going to use, <laughs> but I've gone a little crazy again. It's hard for me to hold back. I'm always trying to hold back now because I go. Just get the paint, so I just just go for it. I, I can't I can hardly stop myself. And I'm really trying to, and I'm always trying to now. Using colour and strokes and you you just get lost in it, you just go for it. It's really difficult to hold back. It really is. <laughs> suppose you become a certain painter and that's it, that's who, who I am I think. I think it's hard for me to break out of this sort of uh, painterly, 
painter. <laughs> anyway, let's get rid of some of this horrible, horrible, horrible white. There's some red in it. consider myself a beginner really because I'm always learning, I'm always picking stuff up. And I don't think you stop, I really don't. I'm not sure if the greatest painter in the world ever stops learning. That's just my opinion. Right, I just need to stop myself. Stop myself, we need to keep going. We've got ground to put in, we've still got that horrible white. And I don't want any white in this painting. This brush has got paint on it. That's better. Um we've got let's have a look at this. I'm gonna need some more white, I destroyed it. So we're going to make a grassy colour. Bit of Viridian Green. Yellow ochre. Chrome yellow. This will be, this will be the base colour. So we've got our grass. Grass. Wrong here. Yeah. 
Move this grass in. I might change this. On the photo, there's trees that come down here. Mm, that would look quite good, wouldn't it? Let's leave it. Just making myself more green. Green, greeny, green, that's quite strong. Oh, that's about right to this part. Throwing that paint on. This brush, if you're wondering what it is, it's just a filbert. It's a uh, Bob Ross filbert. I'm not sure if I saw that when my camera was. <laughs> Picking up, yeah, it's a Bob Ross film, that's all. You wonder. Yeah. And this one is a uh, artist's flat brush, Windsor Newton Artist Oil Flat number eight. Because I've been asked recently, what the devil are the brushes you're using? Because I want the same ones. I'll be honest with you, as long as you can put paint on something and get it on the canvas, the brushes you use don't matter too much. You just don't want those brushes where the hairs all drop out. <laughs> They're the worst ones. If you can get paint on the canvas, no matter what you use. Right, let's have a look. We could do with darkening the front. If you throw a bit of either red or brown into your paint, look at this, into your green, maybe a bit of blue as well, you can dull it. I'm going to dull this. Have a look. Quite like that. With my dirty brush, I'm going to go in some yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre and a little bit of the red. Oh, there's a nice colour, it's a bit whiter. So it's yellow ochre, a little bit of cadmium red. I'm going to get a little bit of the dirty white. On there. Got a few uh, changes in the land, changes of colour. There we go. Now, what I want to do, because we've got a train as well. Oh, yeah, I've got to tell you. <laughs> I was wanting to paint a train in this and I was waiting for the picture. I can't remember if I've mentioned it now. Maybe I have. I don't know. And, uh, you yeah, know, I missed it, so... Um, but I still want to paint a train. I still want to do it. Some dark green. Just dark. Get a few of these trees in here. It's just dark. I'm using the horizon. Imagine a horizon line going up here. Starts smaller and gets bigger. I know what you're thinking. You already know this. And I'm going to mix into some of the blue. I'm going to put in a few distant ones as well. I might even put in a hill. We're in a hill there, but 
We can do whatever we like. Because it's our painting, isn't it? Quite good. Having a hole there. Wish there was a hill there, it would look really good. <laughs> well, there is now in my picture. Um, maybe put some trees over here, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Grab some, uh, you know, I'm dying around this palette like nobody's business. <laughs> like nobody's business. Get some dark. And you do, well, when you get used to uh, throwing paint at the canvas, you do, you just start chucking it all around. And you, you uh, Really start kind of putting a few trees here. Just using the uh, top of that Vilbert brush just to get that roundedness. That'll do, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get that piece of paper and wipe this brush. to cause to brighten up this. Okay, that does give a nice change, doesn't it? A nice bit of difference. Down this area, we can make some changes as well. Because we don't want this to be all the same, it's a bit boring then. Okay, let's just sit back, have a look at that. Clean that bit up there. Just sit back, have a look at that. Sometimes you get dark areas in amongst the grass where there's It's a bit rough and the light's not quite hitting all of it. Quite like that. So I was walking along the farms the other day. I went out looking for something to paint. So I went all around the farms. <laughs> and I got somewhere that I didn't really, um, I don't know, just didn't quite feel comfortable. You never know, the farmer might have run out with his shotgun. <laughs> and, uh, I've never been down this one bit. Like, I'm not sure if I should stay around here. So I liked it. <laughs> right, so we got rid of the white 
And that, that's a challenge to get rid of that horrible, horrible white staring at you, telling you that you can't do anything because the white is there. But we got rid of it now. So that's a good move. So now we can get some of this white. I think it's all like yellow. More of white. I might get some Naples yellow. Let's start with this. See what we can do with this first. So I've got pinky, pinky white, and I want to put some of it on here. So I look at the paint. Loads of it. <laughs> Just let it drag off the brush. Just letting it wiggle and jiggle. jiggle my door. Up. <laughs> Loads of it all around there. A little string of that coming out there. I don't know. What was I thinking? I was going to do this one differently. But I ended up doing it with lots of paint again. <laughs> but it's so much fun, isn't it? Using a load of paint and really going for it like this. I can't get enough of it. And you can do a lot with this brush. This is a big number eight brush and you can do a lot with it. You don't have to be... Oh, look at this. See how well that, that blends? And that's why the great master Turner used to check painters' fingers. <laughs> because if they don't use their fingers, in his eyes, they're not painters. You've never heard of the great Turner. It's definitely worth looking at. Definitely. I know I have. Hopefully I'll learn from him. Another good thing about Turner, you know, I'm an English painter. Turner was an English painter. Probably the greatest English painter that we've ever had. So great that he was the first Impressionist. And the, uh, the great French painters. Everyone's great in my eyes because they're painters. <laughs> so the great French painters, they took a leaf out of Turner's book and also the other fantastic one John Constable another one another fantastic painter and then he used different techniques to do their Painting, sometimes they would slop the brush on 
to create the technique. I think Constable used to do that. Sometimes they would place the paint on. And if you look close up at Turner's, I did, and you can ask Clive, I got told off. <laughs> <laughs> when we were, me and Clive Powell, Clive Fireheart, when we went in, look at Turner's painting, big painting in the museum. I got told off for looking at it too closely. I didn't touch it, but they thought I did. They thought I did, but I didn't. I let him off though, because he was twice the size of me. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to get beat up. I pretended it was, oh yeah, that's okay. No worries, no problems. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> Pretended I wasn't scared. <laughs> I was excited, I got carried away. I was almost stood inside the picture, staring at it going, oh, look at this, this is amazing. This is what I want to be able to do. Look at it, look at how you could do that. You could blend it and mix it and soften it and... You can do so much with your paint. Create skies, unbelievable skies that people haven't seen. And when they look at your picture, they're amazed at what you've done. Making a purpley colour and throwing that in, purpley red, throwing that in my colour and mixing it in. Throw more blue into it and change it a little bit. Putting it around, around the picture. Okay. Quite like that. You have to keep sitting back and having a look at the picture. Always sitting back and having a look. And enjoying yourself. <laughs> don't forget to enjoy yourself. You don't want to forget that because that's why you're doing it. You're doing it for two reasons to enjoy yourself, to learn, three reasons, to enjoy yourself, <laughs> to learn, and to be a master painter. Shh. Don't say that to other people though because they'll pull you down. <laughs> so you're not a master painter. Well that's what I tell myself when I've got the brush in my hand, that's what I am. I'm a master painter. When I've got a brush in my hand, that's what I am. And you tell yourself that, but shh, keep it a secret. People don't like it when you're bigging yourself up. Here we go. What have we got going here? We need to separate it a bit there. Blend this blue into that a bit, just so you get a bit more of a feel of that. Yeah. Blend that in a bit as well. And this. Okay, let's look at that. I quite like that. What I want to do, I'll take a bit of that paint and just see that paint. And just I need to take that into there and then down like that. There, like that. A little bit over here as well. 
Here's an Alfinger. We can do what we like. Maybe we'll use our finger to paint the rest. I'll fluff these bits. So, baby wipe time, baby wipe time, what do we think, what do we think, I think I can get some more of the, the white of the white on here. Yeah, I quite like that. I do quite like that. I might add a bit of blue. I just feel like there needs to be some blue in this. Up here. A, I see some other things now, like here. Right, let's sit back, have a look at that. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay. Here's a paper towel, just chop off some paint. Right, what we've got along here is a railway line. I wanted to put a train on here. Ready, <laughs> my camera, hopeful, I was hopeful, but alas I missed it. So we got to make it up. Let us mix some brown and blue on this big old brush. Because brown and blue will make you a nice black. I want it to be really dark to start with. Um, we'll see. We don't know. We'll see how it looks. So I think the train will be here. Put a few carriages in. Something like that. Don't want it to be too big. Maybe we do. I'm gonna get some red now. See that cat being red? Really strong. I think what I might do is have a bit of red on the carriages. You can see it there now. I, mean, I want a really small brush. I'm going to go in. I'm going to put a little, little mark. The, uh... <laughs> Might be a bit big. 
a bit big. Which is why I had a little chimney on there. And now I've done a great big chimney. <laughs> oh well. You know what happens now. The train is going to get bigger. Oh that looks good. That looks all right, actually. Amazing, isn't it? I'm gonna clean it up as well with some uh, yellowy, ochre colour at the bottom. Just want to uh, fix the back of the train. I really like that actually. I think that's better than my original uh, <laughs> size of the train. Now we need smoke. This is why I've left this quite plain here and I've left it quite dark here because when I put this smoke in look, get a bit of this dark, a bit of the light let's see what this looks like I might need to put it in with a brush actually because that's quite a small area in it I'll just wipe my finger. <laughs> it's not so good. So let's get some So I'm just gonna load the brush with some of this. make this a bit different because it's coming out of the train and look a bit different to what's there for clouds we'll try this so I have the smoke I get right in there <laughs> have the smoke going Something like that. Maybe it's sort of disappearing a bit there. And then just for where's the light? <laughs> Coming this way. So we'll put a bit of lighter bit on it as well. Like that. I quite like that. What I might do. Now we've got this little brush on the go. And we've decided where the light is. too much on this because I don't want to take the eye over here for detail I want the eye to go to the train in this large expansive area I think what would happen though in this area 
I think it would go dark along here. I think it would be a bit darker. As the, uh, the railway line is on the hill. So, imagine this area. Not getting as much light. Maybe. We don't know. We're just making it up. Maybe there'll be a bit of uh, light hitting that tree there. Not too much. We don't want to do too much. Might add a generic tree there. Little distant ones. Maybe there's. Maybe that's hill. Maybe there is a, a bit of light hitting that side of that hill there. Rid of that. Yeah, I quite like that. Might put a little little change of <laughs> change of scenery. <laughs> I think that'll do. I think I'm finished. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know me. I always, always want to do more. Always. And I'm putting the eye in here. Yeah, I quite like that. I do quite like that. So what else can we put in? <laughs> A little bird. Uh, to be honest, when I always go to the field, the birds are always on, on the ground. Just flying off. It's like, ooh. No, I don't like that one. I'm getting rid of that one. Don't mind these four. Maybe that one's gone. Yeah, those three. <laughs> Just indications of like little birds on, on the ground. Cause I always see them on the ground. Always. Right. I think we'll call this one finished. I might just put a little bit of the old uh, JB in the corner. Put a little JB in the corner, I think. I know it's a JB. Maybe it's a bit too big. 
don't want it to be that big, do I? Not really. something a bit finer. Let's go with this little brush. JB. So yeah, we'll call this one finished. Now remember what I said, <laughs> people don't like it, like it when you call yourself a master painter. So when you're doing it, do it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> Always big yourself up. Always big yourself up. And uh, I say that because people will always put you down and people are always putting me down all the time. <laughs> So you got to keep bigging yourself up. You're your best, best fan, and uh, you want to keep yourself on a high when you're painting, not on a low, depressed, and going, oh, I can't do it. No, I'm not good enough. You want to be, yes, I'm good enough. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I'm great. Yes, I'm the best painter in the world. <laughs> but shh, keep it a secret. So, thanks very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.